invitation a few weeks ago, and I saw that um, Ari Vut was honoring Becky. I thought to myself, you know what, that makes sense. Often I'll get invitations and I'll see people being honored by organizations, and I kind of wonder sometimes what the, what the connection is. But to me, the connection was very, very clear. And I'm going to come back to that in a few moments. The Torah, at the very beginning of Sefer Breshit, Rashi comments, and perhaps it's one of the most famous Rashis in the entire Torah. Rashi raises the question as to why is it that the Torah begins with Briyat Olam? Why is it that we have Sefer Breshit, the stories of Noah and Avram and Yitzchak and Yaakov, the Avot, the Imahot, why do we have those stories? After all, the Torah is a book of laws. It's a book of mitzvot. And Rashi comments right there on the spot, it should begin with the first mitzvah of the Torah, which is only found in Sefer Shemot. Ha-chodesh ha-zelach rosh chadashim. It should begin with mitzvot. When you come to the first mitzvah, that's where the Torah begins. And Rashi explains, it's to teach us that God created the world and to teach us that God gave the world to to the people, and God can give us the land of Israel. But other Mifrashim pick up on Rashi's question and take it in a little bit of a different direction. And they explain to us that we could not possibly come to mitzvot, we could not come to Sefer Shemot and Matan Torah without first going through Sefer Breshit. The Mifrashim refer to Sefer Breshit as Sefer HaYashar, the safer of, of honesty, the safer of doing the right thing, of being on the straight path. The rabbis tell us that avot siman banim, that we have to learn from our avot, from the avot and the imahot, we have to learn from their ways, and they were yashar, they were honest, they were good, they were caring, and only after we learn those lessons can we move forward and then have mitzvot. And those lessons are not only learned from the avot, but are, are of Bashamayim, our Father in the heavens. And the Torah tells us that God himself modeled chesed. He modeled kindness for the people. And that's what we have to learn throughout Seif Mabrishit. And that has to be the prerequisite to coming to the point of doing mitzvot. We have examples of chesed, Avram Avinu, who was the ultimate um, Baal Chesed, who opened his home, who had his tent with all four doors open on every single side. We have the Yashrut of Yitzchak when he comes to the wells with the Plishtim and how honest he is. We have Yaakov Avinu setting that example for us in the house of Lavan under very difficult circumstances. The Torah tells us that Yaakov refused to sleep. When his, when his sheep were out in the, in the wilderness, he had that responsibility. When he had the difficulty with the spotted sheep and the speckled and all of that, he was so honest, he refused to take anything that didn't belong to him. And of course, God himself models the mitzvah of bikur cholim, of visiting the sick, when he himself visits Avram Avinu. You know, I was thinking as I was preparing to speak, Ayurveda is such a wonderful organization. And I don't want to take anything away from, from Daniel Rothner right now, but Daniel, it says on, the, on your letter here that you are the um, founder and director. In essence, really, you're not the founder. Ari Vut was founded by Avram Avinu. <laughs> and you've now taken his legacy, taken your great-great-grandfathers and continued that on. Because that's what you do. You do the work of Avram Avinu. That's what he laid out for us. He laid out for us as the mission of the Jewish people. To, to improve the world, to mitakin the olam, the way that he did throughout his whole, um, his whole lifetime, and that he wanted to pass on to his children and his children. So therefore, this is really just a continuation of that wonderful legacy. Mrs. Becky Trudler really exemplifies that as well. There are literally hundreds of things that happen in our Yeshiva Don Middle School that are because of Becky. I couldn't even make the list. I certainly don't think that the limited time that I was given can I even start to, start to go through that list of everything that she's done as the founding um, general studies assistant principal of our middle school. And I'm so happy that Mike Coslo is here this morning also. 
the founding Judaic studies principal of the of our middle school. And um, Mrs. Strudel has brought so many things into the middle school. But for this morning, I want to talk about the incredible chesed programs that she brought in. Building a, a value system that our students should have of doing chesed. Bringing a culture to our students that they have a responsibility beyond themselves. A responsibility to give back to the world. Her involvement with the programs that we run through Ari Vut, just mentioned here a few moments ago, the Hope Teen Philanthropy Program, and all of the things that our children are doing through that, the programming that she's brought in for our children, working with special needs students, both through the Yachad programs that she's spearheaded, through Friendship Circle, and so many other ways that she's brought that to our students. Programs of working that she's brought into our middle school of our students working with the elderly, programs that she's spearheaded with our students working with children with different sicknesses through high lifeline children with cancer, through other methods of, of bringing a smile, the smile bags that were just mentioned to children who have a sickness who are unfortunately in a hospital and going through a different difficult time. Even that list is so difficult for me to, to put together. She's arranged for our eighth graders to, the culminating thing of their eighth grade year is to go on a chesed trip and to say that that's it. That's the Tom. That's the, the, the if you will, the Afikomen, the Tom Afikomen that we want them to have in their mouths before they leave Yeshiva Noam is that idea of doing chesed. That's something that Becky brought and continues to bring to our students to make sure that that's part of their daily experience and that's the final message that they walk out with. But that's not really the reason why when I looked at the invitation, I thought it was such a good match between Becky Trudler and Ari Vut. That's, that's all wonderful. But I think even more importantly than that, the organization Ari Vut and Mrs. Becky Trudler as an educator have the same philosophy on how they approach children in general and specifically when it comes to chesed. They both believe in exposing children to, to chesed but not pressuring them to do that. They both believe that it has to be a process of empowering children to own their chesed opportunities. Empowering them to know that they can make a difference in this world. Yes, 12 and 13 and 14 year old children can make a difference in this world. And if they're helping one child in the hospital, then they've made a significant, significant difference in this world and empowering them to take those lessons that they're learning at these formative ages and to take it with them as lifelong lessons. How many of our students through the um, um, chesed fair that, that Mrs. Trula has arranged through Ari Vut has begun their bar and bar mitzvah chesed projects and now two, three, four, five years later continue their association with those chesed programs. How many of the times do we hear from the high schools that when there is a chesed opportunity in the high school, it's the yeshiva noam students who are the first ones to step forward and say, of course we're going to get involved. Of course we're going to give up our free time and be involved in doing good for other people. That's what Becky and Ari Vu have taught the children. That's the empowerment that they've brought to them. So I just wish a mazal tov to uh, everybody involved. And um, we yeshiva noam are the recipients of the wonderful work in the area of Chesed by both Mrs. Becky Trula and Ari Vut, and we thank both of them for everything that they've done for our students, and we know that those lessons that they've learned are gonna be probably the most important lessons that we carry with them for the rest of their lives. Masal Tov.